David and David here. Let's talk about what to do when your iPhone is not updating. There are a lot of different ways to update an iPhone. Most people watching this video probably just went to the settings app, went to software update and had a problem. You can also use a computer. We're gonna walk you through the gamut of fixes and there are a bunch of different ways to fix this problem. For 90% of the people, what we talk about, it's gonna fix the problem right away. The other 10% are gonna to have to do a DFU restore. We're gonna help you with that too. What's the first one? First thing to do is just make sure your iPhone is actually compatible with the new iOS update. Every year, a few phones just don't make the cut. So we'll leave a link in the description section below to the phones that are up to date and compatible with the most recent iOS update. And if it's time for a new phone, which it might be if your phone isn't on that list, check out upphone.com slash phones. It's our website. You can compare every phone in the US. Yeah, if your iPhone is compatible with the new iOS update, let's do a hard reset. Why are we doing a hard reset instead of a normal restart? Because sometimes little software problems can crop up that cause iPhones to have a difficult time updating. How do we do it? To hard reset an iPhone 8 or newer, press and release the volume up button, then press and release the volume down button, then press and hold that side button, keep holding, the screen is gonna go black, Apple logo will appear, and then you can release the side button. If you have an iPhone 7, it's the side button and the volume down button. Just press and hold those simultaneously until the Apple logo appears. Sometimes it can take 25 to 30 seconds for this to actually happen, so be patient and keep holding. Don't give up early. Right, and then you can let go, especially if there's a software problem that can take a long time. Yep. What's next? Next, make sure you have enough storage space for the iOS update. These updates can be, you know, one and a half, two gigabytes. The iOS 14.5 update on my phone was 5.7 gigabytes, which felt kind of high. Yeah, they used to be one and a half or two. Now yeah. they're getting crazy they're big. Getting big. So let's go to settings, tap general, tap iPhone storage. And here you'll see how much storage space you have left. I have 46.3 gigabytes of 64 used. So that's about 18 gigabytes left. That should be enough for an iOS update. Absolutely. Good math right there, David. Yeah. While you're here, if your iPhone is stuck on update verifying or stuck preparing, come down here and look for, you know, iOS 14.5, 14.6, 15, and just tap on that and then tap delete and go back and download and install the update again. That's where a lot of people can get stuck when it's verifying or preparing It just right. start over. Yeah, exactly. It's not like you can get in there and tell it to move on. Yeah. That's the way to do it. Actually, David had that problem the other day. I did have that problem the yeah. other day. And you fixed it. I did. Hey! Next, try using a different update method. So maybe you just tried using your computer. Well, now you try it on the iPhone. If you go to settings and then tap on general, let's go back to the main page of settings here. Tap on general, tap software update, and then tap download and install if an iOS update is available. Right, and if you've already tried this way, it's time to use your computer. It can be any computer. It doesn't have to be yours because iTunes or Finder is just a tool in this scenario. So if you have a Mac that's running Mac OS 10.15 or later, you're gonna use Finder. If you have a PC or a Mac running 10.14 uh, or before, you're gonna use iTunes. Try yep. to update your iPhone that way. If you're using your computer to update your iPhone, try using a different lightning cable. Sometimes the cables can get frayed and their connection might be some issues there and then it won't update if you can't make a clean connection and make it all the way through the process. Yeah, it's, it's cool that they built in the over-the-air software updates, even though most of the people who are watching this video had a problem with the over-the-air software updates, meaning it just happens on the phone, because there are so many variables with PCs and Macs, like cables, like USB ports would have, be a problem. Mm -hmm. Try somebody else's computer, try the phone. What's next? Yeah, and if you're using a PC, watch out for that antivirus software. Right, and we're not even gonna get into how to fix that. Yeah, yeah. watch out. Watch out. We can put a link to, the, to that article. Perfect, we'll leave a link to that in the description section of this video. Next, check Apple's servers. This is really only an issue with the major iOS updates, iOS 15, but everyone tries to download the new major update all at once, and Apple servers, sometimes they just can't handle it. Yeah, can you believe that? I, that could happen any time, really. Sometimes they just do it to drive traffic to the Apple store when they stop selling enough stuff. Yeah. Just turn off the servers, but you can check to see if they're off. Yes. How do we do it? Well, we'll leave a link in the description section below to the Apple system status page. System status page. Yes. One of the lesser visited yes. websites. Make sure the dots are green. If the dots aren't green, there might be an issue. Yeah. Next, if you've made it this far and your iPhone still won't update, back it up. Back it up because we're gonna have to get a little bit more invasive with the fixes. You can either back your iPhone up to iCloud, which is I think the easiest way, or a computer, same deal as before with Finder on the newer Macs or iTunes on the older Macs and the PCs. Yep. Then we're going to reset all the settings. Yes. This restores everything in the settings app to factory defaults. You know, your Wi-Fi passwords are gone, Bluetooth devices, they're gone. 
But really, you know, it's kind of annoying, but this is this can fix a lingering software problem. Right, and if you're really, really annoyed by it, then you can just restore from the backup afterwards, which yep. is kind of more annoying, but at least you won't have lost anything at all. So yeah, reset all settings can get things unstuck. It's kind of a magic bullet for software problems like updates not working. Yep, so let's tap back to general upper left-hand corner of the screen. Scroll all the way down and tap on reset, and then tap reset all settings. Enter your passcode, a confirmation pop-up will appear saying, are you sure you want to reset all settings? You tap reset all settings, yeah. reset happens, your iPhone will turn off and then turn back on. We've done it before. I'm not doing it now. No, why would we do it now? If reset all settings didn't work, it's time to put your iPhone in DFU mode. Before you do, here's a quick word of warning. Right, first off, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It can help things along with the technical side of things, which is you have to be careful before you do a DFU restore, which takes everything off your phone and puts it back on again, because if your iPhone is damaged in any way, sometimes the DFU restore will fail and then you'll end up with a bricked iPhone. So it just won't work. So be very careful before you do this. There should be absolutely no problem with the DFU restore and it will update your iPhone in the process. You can watch our video about how to DFU restore your iPhone. We'll drop some links. Mm -hmm in the description section below. Yeah, but especially if you just, you know, dropped your iPhone in a lake or dropped it on the concrete and ran over with your car. Right. Maybe then the DFU restore kind of scary. Yeah, don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it and blame us. Yeah, that's, we've, we Don't blame us. That's there's the, a reason why we added this warning to yeah. this video and it's because we didn't have it in other videos. Yes, well, and then if, you know, maybe you're a little bit concerned, Apple Store, yep. reach out, set up an appointment or call or online, lots of good options there. Yeah. So different Wi-Fi networks, different everything. Just try different stuff until this works. Yeah. And eventually your iPhone will update. Unless it is not compatible. Unless it wasn't compatible to begin with. And you're not watching this point anyway. Thanks yeah. for watching this video though. Those of you who are still around, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please subscribe. We please. really appreciate it. Yeah. And leave a comment down below with any other questions. And please subscribe and leave a comment.